Welcome friends to physics in 20 minutes. In this video we are going to have a short introduction to physics as subject, fundamental units, derived units and common prefixes and unit conversions. So what is physics? So, physics is a subject which tries to understand the nature around us. On your screen you can see that lightning happening. How does it happen? Why does it happen? What kind of damages it can cause? And how to save yourself from such kind of incident. So physics teaches us all these. Whatever physical phenomena you see around us, they all fall in domain of physics. Physics is also the basis of other sciences. Maths, chemistry, biology, physics is used in all these disciplines. Not only just these disciplines, the physics is also used in economical calculations, share markets and at many other places. Physics is also the basis of technology. Most likely the video that you are watching on the screen is a result of technology which is developed by using physics principles. Technology is all around us. Transport, household appliances, so many things are there. The basis of all such technological development is physics. So what is the nature of physics? How does physics work or it is explained? Physics basically believes in theorizing. It makes a theory of the things, theory of the observed fact. What is a theory? A theory is an explanation of natural phenomena based on observation and accepted fundamental principles. It all started with Galileo. In the early 17th century, Galileo did many experiments and made logical deductions on the basis of such experiments. He found the laws of simple pendulum. He did lot of discoveries regarding motion of bodies. Theory of evolution which is a non-physics theory, you must have heard about it here and there. Now every theory has a range of validity, it is valid in a small range. So for example, Newton's laws are valid if the speed is speed of the particle is small, if the particles move at a very high speed the Newton's laws fail. In this figure you can see it is the leaning tower of Pisa and adjoining cathedral where Galileo did his experiments. Physics also teaches us solving problems or applications. In solving problems we are going to develop plans, we are going to have to identify the target variables, the concepts and we have to set up the problem solving situations, actually solve it and evaluate our answers. By evaluating answers we can realize whether the solutions are correct or not. We are going to look into simple exam problems in these videos. We are going to look at crossover problems which may involve multiple concepts and multiple difficulty levels. We are going to check more challenging and comprehensive problems and then if possible we are going to look at multiple choice questions as well. Physics believes in model making. What is a model? Model is a simplified version of a real complex scenario. We normally refer it as an ideal model. Example, look at the motion of this ball. It's moving in the direction shown by yellow. Air resistance normally works opposite to it. Gravity normally works downward. And it might be spinning as well as it is moving. Now this in itself looks a very complicated situation. Now in order to understand this situation we may simplify it further. So we may ignore the air resistance. We ignore the size and shape of the ball. Assume it to be a point like. We may ignore the spin also. 
so now it can be a simplified version where only gravity is working and the point is moving now in physics all the time we make some measurements and we express those measurements by using some number and the units so it's very important to understand such standards of units a physical quantity is a quantity which can be expressed in numbers followed by a unit a unit is a predefined standard which can be used as a reference for measurement although in the world there are various standards of units standards of reference the physicists and engineers mostly work on something called as international system of units or SI units which is accepted from 1960 onwards I'll give you some examples of such references example mass the standard of mass the kilogram is defined to be the mass of a particular cylinder of platinum iridium alloy kept at International Bureau of Ways and Measures at service near Paris you can see a small cylinder kept in these glass enclosures other examples standard for length which is 1 meter 1 meter is the distance that the light travels in vacuum in 1 upon 299792458 second standards of time 1 second is defined as the time required for 9192631770 cycles of microwave radiation from cesium atom so these are all the standards don't worry about those numbers i just want you to understand that the references and units are very clearly and sharply defined in physics now the generally the all physical quantities are divided into two groups they are called fundamental units and derived units so what are the fundamental units the quantities which do not depend on other quantities for their measurement are called fundamental quantities and their units are fundamental units so what are the examples of such quantities and units let's check there are to be precise there are seven such quantities and i'll be presenting them here the first is length think about it the length measurement all you can do is take a meter rod take a foot ruler or take a hand span and measure the length it does not require any other measurement to measure the length of certain object so that way the length is a fundamental quantity its standard unit is meter and it is written as m note that m is a small mass which is kilogram in short form it is written as kg note that k is small time unit is second note that in short it is written as small s electric current unit is ampere note that in short it is written as capital a now why is it written as capital a this unit ampere is named after a scientist so all the units which are named after scientists when they are written in their full form the first letter is a small letter but when they are written in abbreviated form the first letter is a capital letter temperature kelvin capital k luminous intensity candela small cd amount of substance mole mol in the short form these are the seven fundamental quantities apart from these seven fundamental quantities there are two supplementary units plane angle angles formed in a plane unit is radian and solid angle angles formed in in three dimensions they are called steradians sr what are derived units and derived quantities so quantities which depend on other quantities are called derived quantities and their units are called derived units 
So I will give you some example. There are number of derived quantities and derived units. We will encounter them as we come across them. But let me put some examples to you. So area. So look at the area. Think about area measurement. Mostly it is length into breadth. So length is an example of length measurement. Breadth is also an example of length measurement. So you multiply the two lengths. It's a derived quantity and unit is meter square. Volume, length into breadth into height, unit is meter cube. Density is mass upon volume, unit is kilogram per meter cube. Velocity, normally it is distance upon time, unit is meter per second. Acceleration, which is change in velocity upon time, it is meter per second square. Momentum, it is mass into velocity, so it is kilogram meter per second. Force, which is mass into acceleration, so it's kilogram meter per second square, but we also call it Newton. Impulse, it is force into time, so it is kilogram meter per second square into second, which is which can also be written as Newton second. Apart from these standard units, you will encounter some prefixes which is used for the units. So let's see them one by one. I will list name of the standard prefixes and multiplying factor. These are standard prefixes in a sense that they can be used for any units. Pico 10 power minus 12. So you can write picometer, picogram or picosecond. Nano 10 power minus 9. Micro 10 power minus 6. Milli 10 power minus 3. Kilo 10 power plus 3. Mega 10 power plus 6. Giga 10 power plus 9. Terra 10 power plus 12. These were the SI or standard units and standard prefixes. But apart from these in several parts of the world, you will find some other terminologies or other standards as well. So let us have a look at them. One inch, it's a very common unit of measurement. Most of the uh, school scale compass boxes have the ruler, six inch ruler or 12 inch rulers. They have this. So 1 inch is 2.54 centimeter, 1 pound is 4.448216152260 Newton, 1 Fermi is 10 power minus 15, it is used to measure the length at nuclear levels, 1 angstrom 10 power minus 10 meter, it is used to measure the length at atomic level, 1 micron 10 power minus 6 meter, 1 metric ton is 1000 kg, 1 quintal is 100 kg, 1 atomic mass unit is 1.67 to 10 power minus 27 kg. We'll look at an example of conversion of units. World land speed record is 863.0 mile per hour. Express this speed in meter per second. Now remember 1 mile is 1.609 kilometer use this you can pause this video and do this calculation every time when you get an example you can pause the video and do the calculations and then come back and check your answers here is the solution 863.0 mile per hour can be written as 863.0 mile upon hour but every mile is 1.609 kilometer and every kilometer is 1000 meter Every hour is 3600 seconds. So put everything and multiply. You can see that some things will cancel out. And your final answer will be 385.7 meter per second. Let's take another example. 3.2. The volume of a large diamond of is 1.84 cubic inches. What is the volume in cubic centimeter and in cubic meters? Again, you can pause the video, try solving it and then come back and check the solution. So here is the solution. 1.84 inch cube 
can be written as 1.84 into 1 inch cube but 1 inch is 2.54 centimeter so I can write it as 1.84 into 2.54 centimeter cube which, which when you solve it will become 30.2 centimeter cube now I can use this 30.2 centimeter cube to convert it into meter or cubic meters 30.2 centimeter cube can be written as 30.2 into 1 centimeter cube now 1 centimeter is 10 power minus 2 meter so I can write it as 30.2 into 10 power minus 2 meter the whole cube which can be written as 30.2 into 10 power minus 6 meter cube so that's how the conversion will happen yes I can write it into a scientific notation remember in the scientific notation the first number should be between 1 and 10 so 30 is more than 10 so you convert into 3.02 into 10 power minus 5 I'm putting some review questions for you people to go through and try to find out the answer here are some activities an assignment is put down here you can try to handle it thank you